Hello, everyone tuning in to Mac TV today. I hope everyone is doing well, and I hope you guys are safe with your families and you guys are getting through this in a positive manner. I'm really glad to bring you guys another exclusive interview here on Mac TV. Today's guest is a Canadian cricketer, and when it comes to batting, he's a full on beast. So I'm so excited to have Rizwan Timo with us here today, and we're going to get to relive a lot of his great moments. So Rizwan, how has your lockdown been going so far? Uh, it's going all right, you know. It, it's it's not uh, very convenient for us because uh, we've been used to, you know, going out so much. So it's just um, crazy times, we, you know, we can't really do anything what we used to do. So, But still, you know, every opportunity you get, uh, it's it's you know you just use it in a, in a way so you can mm-hmm. get to enjoy even you know we never get to sit at home and find out what uh, we're capable of you know uh, other than cricket so I'm just learning a few other things here and there so it's a good experience so far not bad yeah so since we have you here on this exclusive interview for Max TV. You got to tell us some insights of what's going on, you know, day to day, like some activities that you're doing, any new hobbies that you've kind of taken upon to kind of make sure that your time goes by in a fun manner as well. Yeah, um, you know, uh, since we're in, so uh, I'm just keeping the training going, actually. Uh, I want to make sure, uh, you know, the fitness uh, is always there. So I... I mostly go out in 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 a in a night now uh, okay. uh to just make sure you know no crowd around so it's, you know I have empty streets just make sure <laughs> I run around a little bit mm-hmm. and uh sometime when the weather is nice I just go out and uh, you know make sure keep uh safe from people and uh, keep the distance and then you know do all the activity exercise whatever yeah. I can get and you know, I think just making uh, use of all, 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 all I get out out there. Yeah. So I mean, everyone knows how Rizwan Chima is so big on fitness. You know, like I, you've always, I've always seen so many videos of you. You know, making sure that you're always getting your exercises in. So what are some changes? I mean, that you've had to come across because you can't go to the gym. You can't really do what you used to do. But how have you kind of changed that to still make sure you get your fitness in? And right now during this lockdown. How much you know time have you been spending? Is it still the same amount of time, or have you had to switch it up a bit just because of what's going what's going around? Uh, fitness is uh, you know it's it's very big part of any athlete uh, yeah. I think um, life and uh, in, what I do is I used to go to gym you know it's, it was a different and you, even even the less time you can mm-hmm. get to you know do more. But yeah. now I have I have plenty of time, so I I, I make sure I you know I, I spend more since there's not enough uh, equipments out there to do it properly. But I yeah. still have you know it, it's 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 not very difficult for me in a way because you know you, you know most of the stuff you know you yeah. know your body well you know which exercise you need to do, yeah. so you just need to find a space in in a house and then you just you know you work on anything you like. So uh, I, I have stuff at home. So uh, I have dumbbells, uh, luckily, at home. So I, I, I make sure I use them in, in a different uh, exercises to, mm-hmm. to stay, stay in shape. Yeah, definitely. So now besides fitness, you know, what else have you been doing? Any new hobbies? Have you been watching a lot of Netflix or movies or anything like that? Movies, I finished all of them, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I've been, uh, I, I was very bad in movies actually before. I, I um, wasn't really uh, good in watching movies before. Mm-hmm. I, and I'm I, I watching quite a lot these days. Yeah. And uh, another thing, I was uh, uh, bad in reading books too. And I started that too. So those uh, uh, two things, I think, uh, added up. And yeah, you know, learn a few things to cook too. So yeah, definitely. You know, so you you figure out it's not only cricket; you have another talent too. 
<laughs> exactly. I think a lot of people have found a lot of talents during this quarantine, exactly. especially the cricketers, definitely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I see you, you know, you're wearing your jerseys. How much are you missing cricket? You know, how much are you missing tournaments? Uh, and we would have been in Florida, I mean, especially this month as well with the Max T-Sense. So how much are you missing, you know, being yeah, out there in the field? Yeah, that's what I'm wearing. This me, Mac T10. The yeah. we were we were the champion last year, and yeah. then uh, we couldn't able to go this year. It's uh, it's frustrating at, at times. I think you know uh, uh, that's the only uh, place we wanna be as as a you know obviously we're cricketers, mm-hmm. so we wanna be out yeah. there on the field play cricket. So it's uh, a definitely a big miss in our in life, and um, but I think. Uh, everything happened for reasons and yeah uh let's let's make sure all these uh bad stuff goes away soon and we go back yeah. out there and start playing cricket again yeah i mean yeah we can miss being on the field but we can obviously remember the times by talking about cricket so let's talk a little bit about cricket so how many years have you been in us open for yeah i don't <laughs> 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 that, is, uh, that many years you don't even remember <laughs> uh yeah it's been a while i think uh, i i represented the i think quite a few franchises so yeah. um i think um, uh, and i've been with the mac for two or three years now yeah so i uh, probably seven eight years so okay. uh, i've been going up there and yeah. every time um uh, i think us open is one one thing we all look forward to every year mm-hmm. It's a uh, amazing tournament, just yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, for our North American uh, players, especially. It's it's pretty much in our backyard, and mm-hmm. it's very competitive tournament. Yeah. So exactly. Uh, you know, I'm sure everyone look forward to this tournament. Yeah. So I mean, you know, U.S. Open cricket started in 2009. So that was when the first edition happened, which means it was only a year after IPL started. So that U.S. Open has been there before many of the league cricket starts. So it's kind of amazing that North America had, you know, something like this. Yeah, exactly. It's so competitive. You know, people from all over, players from all over the, around the world have been joining it. You know, not just players that live here, but even many international players, domestic players from all over. So it's really cool to get that experience. So, you know, being with U.S. Open for so many years, how have you seen the progress? you know, that Mac and his team have brought to the game? You know, every year, I think it's always changing and getting better. So from when you first started and now, what are some changes you've seen? Uh, you know, uh, I always uh, admire uh, the work uh, Mac and his team put into the, this tournament. Yeah. And, and, you know, uh, look where this tournament is now. Every, you know, every year there, um, you know, superstars comes in the tournament and play. Uh, so um, it's it's so um uh, you know it, it's it's i think so so good to see uh, the tournament like that in north america mm-hmm. where uh, you know it's it's difficult to bring out all these um, big names yeah. and mac is doing that for years it's it's so you know, you know I, I really admire the work he's been doing so um and every time i go there i probably enjoy the most in most you know so um, I'm 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 really gonna um, shout out to him and his team so for the wonderful work they're putting in for these tournaments, and it's getting better every year. Mm-hmm. The best mm-hmm. part is, you know, it, it was it was uh, um, you know up there before, but now every year is imp- there is improvement, and every year they work so hard. You, you know, since I'm been his team, I see you know it's not easy to ho- organize these events. So when there's a rain out there and you know i see them not you know uh going home till and even you too i i'm sure you have experienced it was the last year you were there with yeah. the management uh, it's, it's it's long hours so it's exactly. it's not easy job yeah and uh, the way he's been running this is, is so cool to see. yeah exactly i mean it's this amazing. was my second year you know coming to the game i w- went last year as a spectator and then I got to, you know, have that fortunate chance to be a part of it and see all the insights. So agreed. It's, you know, it's so much work that gets put into it so that we have cricket here as well. You know, there's cricket all over the world, but obviously we need it. And we have such a big league that's so competitive. So many teams come out, you know, and especially like the last edition, you got to be, it was U.S. All-Stars and Mutan Sultans together. 
exactly. you know, that was a different experience as well. So kind of how did you like that? You know, having some PSL players come from, you know, different PSL teams as well and getting to play along their side and kind of, you know, take on cricket to another level as well. It's, it, was, uh, it was amazing, you know. It, it was a great, uh, um, you know, experience for everyone out there, you know, to, to having a, a different taste in your team, you know. It, it was a PSL taste in, in, in US Open. So it was, it was uh, you know, uh, we laugh around, we chat around, and, we, you know, we share experience uh, with, with them. And, you know, obviously, uh, they, they, um, they learn from us, we learn from them. So uh, it was an uh, amazing uh, thing, I think, uh, the collaboration uh, Mac did with Multan Sultan was uh, a great idea uh, to, you know, to, to share experience uh, from them and from us. So it, it, was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was actually quite experience. Yeah, and I know this year it didn't happen, but hopefully soon. I know there was also that collaboration to take players, you know, from North America and bring them over to Pakistan as well. So hopefully that happens soon as well. Because mm -hmm. that's, you know, taking another level where you're taking players here to give them a chance to kind of get at that level and play in other countries as well. So, you know, he's doing so much to help players, you know, get that very vast experience that they usually won't be getting, especially in America and our really bad wickets, you know. Yeah, that was actually, you know, we're, uh, we're all looking forward to go there. And unfortunately, it didn't happen because of Bangladesh tour or something. But um, it was it was a great idea, actually, you know, to, mm -hmm. to, to take players from here and then, you know, let them go there and, you know, feel, have a feel of PSL. It, was, it should have been an amazing experience for us to go and see. So um, all these things Mac has been doing is, I think it's, it's a great work he's putting in yeah. and, and, and his ideas are amazing to, you know, collaborate with all these big teams, yeah. make sure, you know, uh, North American players get that the same experience as they, they, they have. Yeah. And I mean, another thing he's done with Cricket Council USA and Mac, they've done is bring that T10 format here as well. So, you know, T10, another shorter format. And let's also talk about your innings last year, your 122 <laughs> balls. And then even your 50 runs in, like, 14 balls and everything. So, 122 runs in a T10 format. Like, what do you eat to be able to score like that? <laughs> you know, uh, I have uh, 100 in every other format. So, uh, T10, it's, it's definitely a special because, uh, you know, uh, going out there and, uh, you know, uh, I, I, I only play pretty much the, uh, the 10 overs anyway. So that's yeah. like <laughs> perfect format for me. And then um, uh, I think uh, he had some money on sixes too. So that really helped. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, I could imagine that how much you must have loved that. So I know it's so sad that last year, I mean, I'm so upset I didn't get to go see that because that, that's something that would have just been like, I remember seeing, you know, the score and just seeing the um, flyers that they put out. And I was just like, like, so I was just like, how insane is this, you know, to be able to score like that? Like, I wish I could have seen that with my own eyes. <laughs> yeah. You know, um, uh, when you go there, you know, especially uh, every time there's a different feeling in, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a stadium, in a where yeah. Mac hosts these, these games, you know, this obviously, you know, it, it gives you a vibe of a good international cricket. Yeah. So um, I think um, that's what I love about uh, yeah. his own tournaments more. You know, he's just having that feel, uh, have a you know good competitive cricket, and then you go out there and express yourself. And then obviously, you know, if if you're good enough, you will you will get to score runs. Yeah, I mean, speaking of that that whole international feeling, I mean, last the last edition, you know, getting at USA Cricket accredited as well, and also having an ICC um, person kind of come there and you know so that was something that was you know taken to another level to help the players get that international feeling I mean for you you've played many international matches you've played a world cup as well yeah. so you know it's really cool for these players who don't have the opportunity yet to you know be playing such big matches so yeah. how do you think you know that's kind of helped and is helping players kind of get more adjusted to these type of settings it's definitely you know if, if these things are around and you know um, uh, and the youngsters all those so, you know, youngsters from, from the team, they come in and, and they see all these things. This yeah. is what you're going to get in international cricket. So exactly. if you learn this and have that experience uh, in these tournaments, when you go represent your country or play in any of the big leagues, you, you won't be feeling any different. 
So, uh, uh, so definitely, you know, having ICC guy around uh, and, you know, having those anti-corruption meetings and all those things, yeah. it was, it was quite, a, quite, a, quite a good gesture and a good thing from Mac to make yeah. sure, you know, this, this tournament is heading into the right, right direction. So, uh, he's, uh, you know, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. He's growing and improving every year. And it's amazing to see. Uh, uh, I, I love U.S. Open. I obviously love uh, uh, any tournament uh, from Mac out yeah. there. So uh, I, I really wish him, wish him uh, luck on that to make sure he do all these things right yeah. to yeah, yeah, yeah. He keep improving. Yeah. And I mean, so Cricket Council USA celebrated their 20th year anniversary last year. So how do you think they've kind of helped progress Canadian and USA cricket as well, you know? Because one, obviously having these tournaments, but how do you think they've, Mac and them, have been able to kind of help progress the cricket that happens basically in North America? It, it's, 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 you know, this, um, uh, what Mac is doing, it's, it's playing a huge part in developing uh, cricket in North America. Not only in the US, but also in Canada. You yeah. know, I see lo lots of players goes from here. Even some teams go play in that exactly. those tournaments. So uh, it, it's you know it, it's gi it's giving you uh, uh, that vibe just mm -hmm. before you uh, play international cricket. Yeah. So uh, you know, um, and it's giving giving you exposure. Uh, you know, so many players. If you're doing well in this tour these tournaments, your name will be up. Doesn't it doesn't matter who you are and doesn't matter yeah. which team you're representing. So if you're doing well in these tournaments, definitely selectors out there, they will look for you, the national teams, even um, uh, franchise team. Look, Ali Khan, he was out there and then now he's, he's all over the world. Mm -hmm. So these, these, uh, these definitely helping the players to grow their game and get exposure and you know go and represent all other leagues and teams. Yeah, so another thing you know that Mac and his team have done is also bringing that youth you know, the Youth U.S. Open as well. So one thing I noticed even when I was speaking to a lot of the kids, like they were so excited to have, like a lot of the Canadian kids that came, they had two Canadian teams that came from the youth camp. And a lot of them were excited that, you know, they were like, Rizwan Chima is here, Ali Khan is here. And, you know, these are the people, they look up to you, right? These kids, you know, growing up in North America, obviously you guys are going to be the stars because you guys have, you know, taken your cricket and shown to the world that you're capable of it you know, whether it be living in America or Canada. So how do you think, you know, US, the youth US Open has been able to help kind of get kids that platform to be able to play in the stadium as well and, you know, give chances to them as well? It's, it's I think, uh, what he, he, he did with the, with the juniors. It, it, it's definitely a very, very, very good uh, thing he did, he did bringing uh, all these uh, teams from all over. Not mm -hmm. only in the U.S. and even you know it's it's not only U.S. and Canada. I think some teams come from Caribbeans as well. So exactly. it's, it's 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 a great opportunity for all those kids to yeah. come and play in the stadium. You know this. this you know if you if you you have that uh, um, prize out there. If you go to the final, semi-final, and final, you mm -hmm. might end up playing in the, in the stadium. So uh, you know uh, that mm -hmm. gives them you know where. All these big names, all these big players, you know, uh, from you know international cricket, they come and play in the same pitch, same stadium, and you exactly. you you're going to play on the same. So it, it it will give them lots of confidence, you know, lots of confidence in their career, and and gives them uh, that uh, um, you know a hope to one day they will represent some big teams, some and their countries and their nation, national sides. So it, it's it's a it's a great initiative from uh, Mac and his team. So uh, I'm, re I'm really happy to see all those kids, you know, w w while we're there and they're there too. So yeah. it's, it's good, it's good, really good for them. And, and I'm, I, I, I'm really happy to see that. Yeah. And another thing, I mean, they're trying to work on is also women's cricket. So, I mean, in North America, women's cricket is barely there yet. So, I mean, obviously they're taking that initiative to kind of get women's cricket there and, you know, have, Women also have a chance to play at such platforms, you know, give them an experience to play at something that's, you know, in an international level style. So what is your take on that? I mean, I think with USA and Canadian women, I mean, they're, they're still building on their team. So, I mean, I definitely getting that platform, how do you think is going to help? Yeah, you know, uh, uh, 
I've been uh, playing cricket here for for a while now, and yeah. I know it's not easy for uh, associate teams or, or teams, you know, players in North America to to keep themselves motivated to yeah. to, to keep playing cricket. So, at tournaments like this, events like this, if you if you, if you know if you if you are asking all these women are uh, you know youngsters to come in and uh, participate in these tournaments. It's huge for them. It's it's a good opportunity for them to stay motivated throughout the year to make yeah. sure you know they have few tournaments. They're not just uh, you know last out there. So they, it's it's it'll be really helpful to grow the game for women and for uh, youngsters to uh, have these kind of events and ask them to join in and participate in these tournaments. It's 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 a it's a very good thing for the for the women and. And, and juniors. Yeah, for definitely. What are some tips you would give to especially the juniors? I mean, I know a lot of them look up to you and kind of inspire by that, the way you've taken Canadian cricket as well and gotten it to other heights. What are some tips you would give to aspiring cricketers that kind of live in North America? You know, uh, one thing I always say is you, know, you always want to figure out what you want to really do in your life. If you, if you yeah. really want, you know, Anything you want to do, it it's it's it all takes from inside. You know, you, you need to you need to have that drive inside. Otherwise, you know, we can all motivate people. We can there is a you know, you can coaches can tell you yeah do. But if you don't have that drive inside, it's not easy to go far. Yeah, you mm -hmm. can you can be out there for a while, but uh, then you're gonna you know change a path. But if you if you if you have the drive to become an international player. Are uh, you know even uh, to participate in all these leagues? You have you have a chance. You have an opportunity out there, and uh, trust me, it doesn't matter who you are. You will get opportunity. Yeah. If you if you have that drive, if you have that talent, and uh, the point is how much you're ready to take that opportunity. If you, if the opportunity comes and you're not even ready. It, it, it might be just an opportunity and then that that's it but you need to make sure you know you do all those things more work hard on on yourself to yeah. make sure you're ready for that chance when it comes don't just miss it make sure you grab it with both hands yeah definitely so i mean all the juniors watching you definitely should use that as a tip to help further your career so yeah. now let's talk about some of your favorite memories so what is your favorite memory from the u.s open uh, favorite memories are many of many are from U.S. Open, but uh, I think uh, um, we we won T10 last year. That was a, that was good, uh, definitely. And mm -hmm. then uh, uh, I think a few years back we had we had a DJ Bravo and all these players in the same team, and that was a quite experience. And, and I was captaining them. It's a really good experience and yeah. uh, opportunity for me to learn. And and play alongside all these players, so it was yeah. um, it was a good experience. But I think, honestly speaking, every time uh, I go to U.S. Open, it's uh, it's it's great feeling. It's yeah. it's am amazing to be out there, and then you know, and then uh, 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 obviously getting the dinners from Ali Khan is a uh, quite experience too, always. <laughs> so yeah, and that that's the best part as well. Definitely. If you had to be quarantined with one of your U.S. All Stars mates, who would who would you choose? Uh, yeah, Ali Khan. I I guess <laughs> <laughs> he will entertain me because he's always on social media. So he will make sure he keep bringing the news from all over. So he's he's, he's yeah. So he'll be entertained. Time. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Now, what is your favorite memory from the Canadian side? So, what would you say is a precious memory? Uh, Canadian side uh, uh, overall for me was obviously the World Cup. That's the most yeah. precious thing for sure. Um, the, that was the best experience of my life. Yeah. You know, um, all, especially you know to all those youngsters out there. Uh, doesn't matter what you do, but if you have if you go to the World Cup once, you will see how. Oh, you know your, your journey kind of uh, you know complete 
uh, as as a cricketer to so just you know yeah. participating you and representing your nation to go there and then uh, playing in the world cup is total a different experience it doesn't matter what you do otherwise where you play where you go which leagues you play which tournaments you play but yeah. obviously the world cup is uh, the number one thing in your life now share some insights since you mentioned it share some insights about you know were you nervous when you were going there um kind of while being there what were some differences that you kind of experienced that you hadn't experienced before i mean i know it's a world cup but like what was a different change? I mean, for me, I am an absolute fan of World Cup. So I can imagine, like, I have goosebumps just watching matches. So, you know, playing um, is a different story. <laughs> for me, uh, you know, it's it's been long since I've been playing and it's been long since I've been playing in international cricket. Mm -hmm. Trust me, even if I had to play a local, any game today, I, I will have difficulty sleeping in the night before. Okay. That's how passionate I am about the game. Yeah. And World Cup was just a dream. World Cup was just, you know, the dream. You know, you, you, I, I don't really want to sleep. I don't really want to sleep the night before. Yeah. I just want to go out there and be in, in, in the stadium, be in the ground. Yeah. With, you know, so uh, it, was, uh, it was different for me, obviously. Everyone is different. But I just enjoyed every bit, every moment, you know, you out there, you... Uh, the travels, you know, the hotels, you know, the places, you know, you, you go. Even the security is just annoying, but it's they all there for our safety, and then you know, it's it's a, it's it's amazing. It's, you know, yeah. you go to the you know the mall, this close down the whole side for you, to just for a few players. So it's it's a different because you know the treatment is amazing. So yeah. it, it was it was a quite experience, definitely. Yeah, definitely, I can imagine. That's incredible. So now let's play a quick rapid fire game. Sure. Okay, ready? Oh. So how many man of the match awards do you have? Do you have them all like somewhere displayed? I had them displayed, but I don't even remember how many. It's, 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 it's that a, many, I know. Oh, uh, I don't <laughs> so know. So many. Def like US Open, remember. you're always getting so many as well. Definitely so don't remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't even remember only for Canada. It's, it's quite a... Yeah. I know. I've seen bit, so many of the trophies. Quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, I will post. I will post the pictures for you for all of that. Okay. Yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Um, what would you say is your favorite thing to do when you come to U.S. Open? You know, off the field. I mean, you're always coming to Florida. So, what is something that you're always looking forward to as well? Uh, there's a chapli uh, kebab with me and Ali Khan go and eat. Okay. That is a really amazing place we we have fun in and then uh yeah florida is obviously everywhere outside yeah. of cricket it's, it's exactly florida, yeah. yeah i mean exactly florida and that stadium like everything is just perfect you know going just, to florida uh, to play matches you get the best yeah. of everything so vibe is just a good so it's it's it's, it's, it's everywhere you go and yeah. uh yeah uh sitting upstairs in the stadium and having that tea and uh that is that is our fun fun moments after yeah. other than cricket yeah so i mean with that the fort lauderdale stadium there's also the max stadium so i know you guys had some matches you know there last time and it's you know they've changed it a bit as well so how much are you looking forward to you know playing games is where i know the pitch there was really nice and you know they've changed it up a bit too so i'm really excited to go back and see kind of you know the differences but how much are you looking forward to kind of have that add on as well it's 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 really good for Mac to just have his own ground out there and have stadium and then uh, I I saw he was I think he was putting a turf wicket in there too so mm -hmm. it 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 will be uh, really good to play on on that ground uh, it, and it's quite nice area um, even uh, last time when there wasn't a turf, turf wicket but still it, it it's a nice ground so yeah. I, I love to play on that for sure yeah. And then next question. So usually when you're going out there to bat, what are some thoughts that come into your mind? Like, I want to know because the way you score and the way you hit, like, is that something you go in with in mind? Or what is your thought process as you're walking on to bat? You know, uh, it's only always been one thought in my head every single time I go there. I don't really have many things. I just want to make sure I see the ball and hit it. <laughs> yeah, so I see no, ball, hit ball. Yeah, yeah. That that is that is the that is the only only thing I have in my head. 
I don't really see who's gonna bowl or who who's who's bowling out there. But I see if he's in there, if he's in that zone, he's going. Doesn't matter if he's the first ball. Obviously, people are different. You know, you 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 uh, you some people players need some time to yeah. get that. But for me, if he's in there, is there is there. So exactly. So that's yeah. another tip people can try using: see ball, hit exactly. ball. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Okay, next question. So, which cricketer's Instagram do you stalk? Or stalk the most, if there's many. I don't really stalk anybody on Instagram. Okay. But, yeah, it's quite few. Mm, yeah, Shweb Malik is out there. I don't really stalk him, but, yeah. Okay, no, uh, I'm like total opposite I feel like I stalk every cricketer I'm always <laughs> waiting for people like especially like Brad Coley to post yeah. my next rapid fire question is have you thought about going on to TikTok it's like the new cricket trend um Australia I think their whole team is about to join TikTok <laughs> with David Warner and then Aaron Finch and who knows who's next but have you thought about it <laughs> I, I, I looks like I'm very bad in in that acting things and I don't think I'll be able to do it properly Maybe so you should try I think you should try. Yeah. I think I'm pretty sure they weren't the best at it first. I remember seeing even Aaron Finch's first video. Yeah. Hopefully he doesn't, you know, hear me say this, but he's gotten I've, better by his third video. I, I might, I really want to try with someone else, maybe probably you know, another player or something. And, you know, okay. it, it's a um, combination of two, three players where, you know, you maybe can a US All Stars TikTok. Yes. You guys can do, yes. you know, the jersey thing. I can yeah, help that, coordinate. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. We'll, that, we'll that, yeah that is easy. So that's okay. not a. We'll do this. Thing. Okay. Exactly. So viewers yeah. watching, we'll we'll try to get this done for you guys. There you go. It'll be exciting, yes. definitely. Yep. Perfect. Okay. The last question is: Do you have a secret talent that no one knows about, and we're gonna reveal here? Secret talent. Uh, Besides hitting huge sixes. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, um. You know. Uh, uh, um. Secret talent is obviously. Uh, hiding 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 that uh, pressure mm -hmm. you know i don't i i never i never really even though sometimes you know you, i am i know of shit mm -hmm. but i i will never let never you know yeah. so you can never see on my face even uh, uh i remember the game against usa um, i think uh, just current came to me and he said uh, I was, I think, with the last few batsmen, and he said, "Shima, sir, game is done." Mm -hmm. And it was kind of done, but I told him it's not done until I'm yeah. here. Yeah. So it's so that those sort of things. Even um, uh, I remember in the World Cup uh, against Stuart Broad, in the game against England. You know, he came and he bowled me first ball right on the ribs. Oh yeah. Oh, I said, oh, shit. And then the second ball, he hit my head. So I, and then, you know, Peterson told him, give him another one. So I said, shit, I'm going to, you know. So those uh, uh, moments where mm -hmm. you kind of actually down. Yeah. But he, but I never let him let them know. And I end up scoring exactly. 90, 97 against them. Yeah. So that that you know th those things I'm very I think uh, brave I, I I would say in our I don't really even I am dead from inside I won't let you know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I think that's so, really good, especially in cricket. You know, if you show those emotions, then yeah. it gets on you as well. You know, you'll think more of it versus keeping yourself calm and you know making sure that you overcome whatever pressure yeah, you're feeling. Once Shwe Bakhtar hit me on the shoulder and then. Uh, he even came to me and said, okay. I said, uh, and Afridi told me, uh, Shah Afridi was there. He said, rub it, rub it. I didn't even rub it. Yeah. And I, I couldn't even move that shoulder after like three days. So, But that moment, I I just showed I'm okay. I, I don't yeah. really. So I think that no one knows probably, but that's no, what no I. No one knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> but see that's why i call you a beast you know you're able to like just show with your back you know whatever yeah, emotions yeah. you're feeling and everything so definitely yeah it's it's yeah it's it's, it's you know you even scared but still you 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 just you know because uh, uh i remember the game against usa once 
-hmm. I walked in, there was a bowler from uh, uh, somewhere in West Indies. They had a new young. So he bowled a few good bounces. I went on the bat. There was another batter on the pitch. And he said, shit, man, this guy's quick. And I said, okay, let me let me deal with him. I didn't even know. And he was quick. I was not like really sure, but I didn't let him know he's like yeah. going like, to walk over us. Yeah. So a few things you need to make sure, you know, you don't uh, ac express much to make sure, you know, otherwise everyone is going to be, oh, shit. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I mean, if you have that fear, then it's going to be, you know, if you just take on like what you said, just see ball, hit ball, you're not worried about who's bowling to you. Like if it's yes. Jaffa Archer bowling, you're not going to be like, oh, Never shoot, watch. I hope I don't die or something like that. Never watch yeah. the bowler. Yeah. Just watch when he bowls. So just watch that ball coming to you. It doesn't matter. You know, I, I have experience of getting out from the, the you know, lower ass bowlers ever so yeah. it's not it's not you're gonna get out on anything but it's yeah. it's it's out, when you're out there make sure you know show your authority yeah. let people know, you know you are the boss of this pitch definitely definitely well thank you so much Rizwan, for joining us here on max tv today on this live session um is there any message you would like to share with the viewers uh, message is just, you know, make sure, uh, you know, the difficult times out there and just make sure, you know, you, you do your part to help to, you know, to flat this, these things and, you know, make sure everything is go back to normal. But it, uh, you know, the, we all need to play a huge part in that, in that. So just, just, just follow the protocols and make sure, you know, uh, do everything right and help out and reach out to people on phone and calls to make sure you know they're fine and if you can help in any way to uh, help the less fortunate out there make sure yeah. you reach out to that too and do all thing all these things and see you all guys soon on the field i'm i'm very uh, hopeful person and you know, things should be better soon so we'll see yeah. you all out there Yes, definitely. Thank you guys all for watching us here on Mac TV. Definitely stay tuned for more exclusive interviews and insights. Thank you so much, Riza, for joining us. And hopefully I get to see you soon in Florida and we get to, you know, have more cricket because I'm seriously missing it. Thank you. Yeah, we are missing it and see you soon for sure. Yes, definitely. Bye, everyone. Bye.